that on? Yeah, we're good. Did you just slide it in? Yeah. Okay. Every single one of you knows the potential consequences from drinking and driving. And you've got to be just plumb stupid to do it. personal stake in stuff like this and you know you go to jail if you if you survive it you go to jail and you get prosecuted to the full extent
first a little bit. We really want to reach out to the kids here and let them know that you know if you drink, you drive, you possibly could die, and if you drink, you drive, you will go to jail. Uh, I buried my brother four years ago due to alcohol, so I've got real personal stake in stuff like this. And you, know, you go to jail if you if you survive it, you go to jail and you get prosecuted to the full extent. And you can only do that if you make sure that you have designated drivers. You can only do that if you make sure you don't drive drunk and you don't get in the car with somebody who's going to. You can have all the fun you want to, however you want to. A prom night, graduation night, whatever else. But you just got to be stupid to drink and drive. Every single one of you knows the potential consequences from drinking and driving. And you got to be just plum stupid to do it. But we want you to be smart too. It's simply not worth it. Don't drink and drive. Thank you. I want to thank everybody that was involved today. Everybody did a really good job. The Oklahoma Highway Patrol, Eagle Med, Bramon and Blackwell Fire Department, uh, the Blackwell community as a whole for getting involved in this. Hopefully we can reach one or two kids and prevent a drunk driving accident or even a drunk driving death this year. Uh, we did it this time of year because the prom's coming up, graduation's coming up, it's getting warm, people are getting out and about. We really want to reach out to the kids here and let them know that you know, if you drink, you drive, you possibly could die, and if you drink, you drive, you will go to jail. I think a program such as this is going to get through to kids way more than anything because this is real life. They're seeing their peers uh, in what appear to be injured states. Uh, they're seeing their peers loaded in helicopters, they're seeing their peers loaded uh, in ambulances and hauled off and there's sirens and lights and, and all the effects that go along with it, I think that's really going to reach them more than somebody standing in a classroom and preaching at them all day. This hits home with me because I've got a kid that's a senior and i got another one coming pretty soon in another six years and I don't want this to happen to my family. And you see how much it takes just to work a two-car accident with five people. And most of the time, when we go out on this run, we start with four firemen and we have to recruit help. And this time we had three times as many people as we normally have and you see how long it takes to get to those people. And if we can't get some of them out soon enough, they die later on because we couldn't take care of them in their golden hour. But I want you to understand that it hurts everybody, the ones that get left behind. And most of you all know somebody that's died in the last couple of years that have been here in this store. Be safe, please. It matters to me. I just want to keep it real simple. You want to go back to the field? I'm sure everybody has one of these. If you're drinking, don't drive. Call somebody. Call your mom, call your dad, call somebody. This will save your life right here. Okay? All right. It's up to you. It starts with you guys, so.